All right, I'm here with Jaime from uh, Pure Image here in, where are we at? We're at uh, Tempe, Arizona at my mall location, Pure Image Designs. We're hanging out, we're having a great time. I got Ryan Townsend here and he's from Oklahoma. I got Jaime hooking up a hat for me here. So I'm on my little airbrush tour going down the west coast, checking out all my favorite artists. I'm going to be going to Coast Airbrush pretty soon and uh, stopped here in Arizona, talked to Jaime. and. Uh, He's going to let us know today what he feels like is the most important lesson he learned about airbrushing over the years or something that he feels like is a big eureka moment that, I don't know, that will help you guys out. Fantastic. Well, you know, like like we were kind of touching base before, Ryan, um, you know, the, the whole control thing in terms of airbrush, that really comes from just doing it a lot. And in my case, I, I get to do it a lot, so I get to really beef up my control. But I think the most important part that was transformational and even, you know, even pivotal was when, when I really started to appreciate the reference material that I was painting. And I wouldn't just study it and kind of look at it. I started to really just indulge myself and look really deep. Say if this was an area, this is, a, this is the head and the body, you know, you tend to just kind of look at the whole composition. Well, I started to really look at it in each little level. Just isolate one little area and just pick that little area apart. And say the background was the sun and hit a cloud, I would just isolate just this little area and study that. Now, a lot of horizon lines will have a sunset horizon line. Well, right at the end of the horizon of the mountain or whatever, you'll have a bleed color edge. The, the mountain will be purple and then the edge will be orange because that color of the sun is turning that, that, that mountain a different color. So that's the kind of level of detail uh, I started to appreciate and uh, started to apply to my work. And uh, I got to say, that was probably the most transformational part of my career is when I when I started to do that. Um, you know, and, and a lot of, uh, also another important thing is when I realized that everything around me is creation, the sun, the sky, the clouds, the lights, and that there's art all around us. And the more we can see that, the more we study that, the more we'll be able to reproduce that. Because as illustrators and artists, all we're doing is reproducing something that that it already exists and we're adding a style to it so the more we understand the anatomy of whatever we're painting the better we can reproduce it and the more creativity we have inside of us the more creative style we can add to that to that reference or that which we've studied so it's a combination of a developing style creativity and also understanding the anatomy on which and whatever you're, uh, you're reproducing as an airbrush artist, as an oil painter, a tattooist, or whatever you're reproducing. So I, I think those key elements right there are probably the most important things uh, throughout my career.